Okay, so if you need to borrow money to buy your property, then you're going to need to talk to a lender, a bank, or a mortgage broker. What's the difference? Well, a lender is anyone willing to lend you the money, which includes banks, lending companies, and your Uncle Earl. Here's the thing though. Lenders, including banks, will only tell you about the lending products that they have to offer. So if you go to your local bank and say, can I get a loan to buy a house? They're going to say, sure, we offer loans A, B, or C. Let's see which one you qualify for. And at that particular bank, you may or may not qualify for any of them. Or they may not have the best interest rates around. But they're not likely to tell you about their competitors' stuff. You see, the truth is, there are hundreds of different loan products out there. And if you go to a lender, it's kind of like if you want chocolate and go to a Hershey's store. They'll tell you about all the different types of Hershey's chocolate you can possibly buy, but they won't tell you about Lindt, Godiva, or Seas. They won't because they want you to buy Hershey's. In their little world, Hershey's is the only type of chocolate that exists. So to find out what's really out there and get a broader selection, you don't go to a store that only carries just one brand. Unless you happen to really like that brand, of course, you need to go to a store that carries all the brands. And that's where mortgage brokers come in. A good mortgage broker will know dozens, if not hundreds of different lending products and be able to match your particular circumstances with the right one to best meet your needs. Now, that isn't to say that there isn't a good place for banks and lenders. In fact, there are some types of properties in Hawaii and in Kauai in particular that can only be financed by a couple of particular lenders. So for example, if you wanna buy vacant land here, there are only three banks that will lend anyone the money. So you might as well just go to one of them directly. Ditto for condo tells. We'll get into what those are later. Okay, so that leads to the next topic. Why use a Hawaii-based lender or mortgage broker? I like my California bank just fine. And I love my loan officer. She was so helpful when I bought my last house. And she has the cutest little dog. The first thing you need to know is that there are some very unusual ways that property is commonly owned in Hawaii. We have wacky hybrids between condos and hotels called condo hotels, and very common hybrids between houses and the land that they're built on called CPRs. These freaky ownership structures, they don't much exist on the mainland. So when all of your loan paperwork finally makes its way from the front man deep into the bowels of underwriting late in the game, if they're not used to Hawaii's way of doing things, the underwriters tend to take one look, throw up their hands and say, what? This is new to us. We don't like it. We don't understand it. We're not doing it. Underwriters are very cautious and conservative with their lending decisions, which actually kind of makes sense but if they don't like it, it's not happening. For this reason, financing loans for Hawaii properties using mainland-based lenders often fails. This problem is so common and so severe that most seller's agents will only accept pre-qualification letters from Hawaii-based lenders. So unless the seller is your best friend or completely lacks an agent, you're pretty much gonna have to get qualified for your loan by a Hawaii-based lender if you want your offer to be accepted. A pre-qual or pre-qualification letter is just a note from the lender of your choice saying that they believe you will qualify for the financing you need to buy the house you want, provided everything you told them is true. These are pretty quick and easy to get, and seller's agents require them when reviewing your offer to purchase. And that kind of makes sense too, because they only want to accept your offer if they think there's a reasonably good chance you can actually afford to buy the place. So here's the recap. One, to buy property in Hawaii, use a Hawaii-based lender or a mortgage broker. Two, I can provide referrals. I know a lot of different lenders and mortgage brokers. Different ones specialize in different types of loans. And I can connect you with the right one to meet your needs for your particular transactions. Three, sellers here generally require a pre-qualification letter in order to consider your offer for their house. So get started on that right away. It is a no-commitment prerequisite if you're even thinking of buying something here in Hawaii. If you plan on waiting until you find something you like, in this super hot seller's market, it may be gone faster than you can get the pre-qual letter you need, which sucks. So call me if you have any questions because I am here to help. Aloha.